Anne, I'll get to you next. Good morning, Commissioners. My name is Jeff Tyler. I live at 5892 West Harbor Drive in the unincorporated Kootenai County. Um, I'm here to um, basically just um, talk about my disgust for what happened on Thursday uh, by the unelected board members. Um, and I implore you guys to, to uh, consider changing them. Um, we had two board members from Bonner County that they seem to have rational uh, explanations and, and, and votes on that. But then the two from our county uh, seem to be, uh, I don't know where they came from. It's been said by a doctor recently that they actually are practicing medicine without a license. So if one of them has a license they're using on the board, maybe we should, we should know so that we know who to take to the lawsuit. Um, I just want to talk about a little bit of um, um, a different perspective here on the whole mask situation. In my hands, I've got, this is the cover page of Idaho Almanac, Almanac from 1977 edition uh, from the office of the governor of John Evans, and this is in, from the Library of Congress. What it is, it tells the mor morbidity, or in other words, the deaths in Idaho, and this particular one is from 72 to 75. So I'm just gonna go through a couple numbers here from 1975. Keeping in mind that today, uh, I not, don't know the exact number, but I know it's around 135 or more deaths in Idaho uh, from the COVID. Okay. And, and it's not because of the COVID, but with COVID. Um, here's, here's some death numbers from 1975. I'm just picking a year. Chickenpox had 144 deaths in 75. Gastroenteritis had 646 deaths. Gonorrhea had 21 13 deaths. We've been pretty active then, huh? Yep, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, obviously. We need some, we need some levity, guys. <laughs> uh, obviously some di different times, that's why, yeah. That's why I, I wanted to mention thank, that. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> um, hepatitis A, 195 deaths. Influenza, 623 people died in Idaho from influenza. Did we shut down Idaho in 75? I don't, I don't remember that. Uh, Mump, 72. Um, here's a good one, streptococcal infection. 1,048 people died in Idaho that year from streptococcal infection. And, and the biggest one, viral upper respiratory infection, which is what a lot of this goes along with COVID, 2,571 people died in 75 when our population was much less. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to give you 30 seconds. I think you're making your point well. Okay, right so <laughs> my point is, why are we listening to them? Why don't we listen to our President Trump? President Trump said masks should be optional. If you wanna wear them, wear them. If you don't wanna wear them, don't wear them. Yeah. Um, he also said he does not want our country shut down or any more problems for businesses, locally and nationally. So why are we doing this here in our county where we have three quarters of the people voted for President Trump and he is our president? Why are we listening to unelected officials tell us what we have to do? And, and it's really frustrating to me because I've got health issues, legitimate health issues. Um, I, I've got you know, borderline high blood pressure and, 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 and a, a history of um, asthma. And I go into places, stores now, and you get this look, and you get people wanting to push you around and be mad about you, why you're not wearing a mask. So, so basically, we're, we're dividing ourselves by doing this. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Jeff, appreciate it. And 